Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I'll be creating a Iceland diorama that cover in resin C. And to make the Iceland I'm using sculptor mold. It's a porous material that uh, you mix with water and uh, yeah you mix together and create this kind of uh, moldable material and I enjoy really working with it because uh, it's easy to use. So here I start to prepare my island. I have um, uh, drawed on my MDF board roughly the area I want to have it on, how big I want to have it and yeah I'm just going in uh, slowly slowly and making it. And once I'm done I go in with a brush just to kind of give a shape of the terrain and also push it a bit down so it's more concrete. And then I leave it to dry for about 2-3 days. It depends on the uh, conditions you have at home. Of course, the more moist it is, the longer it's going to dry, uh, dry. And after it's dry, I just I going to paint it with my paints and also, I'm going to paint the seabed uh, accordingly, blue colors. So, stay tuned and watch the process and I'll be back shortly.
Right, now it's the next step and uh, I am putting down some PVA glue and will be sprinkling on top sand to create a beach. Right, that's done and now onto the adding bit of green for the island because this island looks a bit naked. So here I have my material mixed with uh, again PVA glue uh, and I'm just putting it on top where I feel like it and cover it in this green bushes. And once again, after that's done, I let it dry for roughly 24 hours. Right, the, everything is dried and now it's the time for adding resin C around the island. So I have mixed here my art resin with blue tints, uh, still transparent and I'm just pouring the first layer like that and uh, go over with my heat gun to pop the bubbles and leave it to cure. And then I will come back and do my second layer. This now is the second day, the second layer, and I have my uh, transparent that I'm pouring in the middle of this crate and around to represent the shallow waters. And then around the edge, I go in with my blue. And then I leave it for about 40 minutes and come back and I will create some waves.
At this point, I thought that uh, I'll done with this piece and it's ready. But then I decided to enhance the waves with this kind of little mixture of uh, white paint, white sand and uh, super gloss heavy gel. So I mix them all together and uh, yeah, it looks really great. I must admit it's the first time that I tried it out and uh, definitely I think that it made the waves pop a little bit better. And after also I used this super heavy gel uh, to create um, a sea texture on top of the sea. And there you have it. This is the finished result and I absolutely love it. I think it came out really great. It looks really realistic and I'm happy with it. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye, until next time, keep creating, bye!